In a PHA study, a overall process plant is generally broken down into collections of equipment as opposed to looking at one equipment or one pipe segment at a time, which would be uh, prohibitively time consuming and very repetitive. So instead of looking at one equipment item at a time, a collection of equipment items and their associated appurtenances and piping are looked at together and generally you're going to define nodes so that they all have roughly the same operating parameters associated with them and it's kind of the the starting point for process hazards analysis to to define what are the nodes that are going to be part of the study. And defining that is the purpose of the nodes worksheet in the OpenPHA database. So in terms of the nodes, there are a lot of things that you can define about nodes. And for the most part, um, we're going to have just one-to-one -one relationships, so single fields uh, associated with a record in nodes. And what you're looking at here, you're going to see some filled in nodes and you're going to see some empty nodes. And again, that goes back uh, to our ability to uh, look at the, the different column visibility. So right now I've got all of the options available for what you want to view on the nodes worksheet. Uh, the items that generally uh, or frequently aren't used in this case are going to be empty uh, because they, they weren't filled in when the example was being put together. Okay, so start out with, with a node description, very simpler, a simple, describes what uh, the uh, scope of the node is, what equipment is included, beginning and ending points, if you will. Um, there is an intention of the node, so what's supposed to be occurring uh, with the equipment in that node. Uh, now there's a option to put in boundaries, so you can clearly define what the boundaries of the node are. You can document that in this field. Uh, next up is design conditions. So design conditions are going to be operating temperatures, operating pressures, maximum allowable temperatures and pressures. Uh, anything that you would want to document regarding those types of design conditions can be put here. Um, uh, so uh, the, the complement to design conditions is going to be the operating condition. So design is what your maximum limits are versus the operating conditions, which is where you typically expect to run. And you can even document, you know, the operating conditions that would be associated with different modes of operation here. You have the ability to make a list of what hazardous materials are contained uh, in a particular node. Uh, the next field over, you have the ability to put in the tags, the tag numbers of the equipment items that are included in a node. Uh, you have the ability to put in a location, so you can describe the physical location in the plant or in the facility where this equipment resides. There is a cell for color, so color usually when you're performing your PHA, you're going to mark up your drawings, uh, usually with a highlighter, whether it's a, 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 an actual ink highlighter or a virtual highlighter on an electronic document. Uh, you'll want to highlight the pieces of equipment that are included in the note, so you might want to list out what color uh, it is. Uh, you have the ability to list which session this particular node uh, was discussed in. And you also have the ability to list out what drawing or drawings, so this is uh, one of those one-to-many uh, relationships. So one node can have many drawings associated with it. So all the drawings uh, that are associated with the equipment in the node and then the ability to put some comments in. So this is the worksheet uh, where you can define the nodes that are under study, a complete list, and then this list of nodes is going to show up on subsequent worksheets like deviation uh, where you're going to be able to look at those uh, based on a node subset. So you can switch the node that you're looking at when you're looking at the deviations.